Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So I am very excited because ah, the leopard has finally arrived. So if you watched my jellyfish and my snake reviews, I had said this was arriving. Um, I had ordered this one and actually ordered this one first, but they set it separate and um, they, it was a, like a day or two behind the jellyfish, the customized jellyfish and snake palettes. Then when it arrived, I received snake. So um, I contacted them immediately. Uh, there is no phone number for Hourglass, so that's surprising. There was no phone number and it says, like when I was emailing them, it said you have two to three days to, um, that, that we can take two to three business days to respond. Uh, they did respond the same day. So the same business day, it was a couple hours, but it was the same day. But they basically said, we can send you a replacement, but we can't um, expedite it. And actually had they had, stopped um, overnight or any any expedited shipping on their website. They were only doing ground shipping. Um, so usually there's like two day and three day and then overnight shipping, all of that was gone. Um, it was just basically ground shipping was the only thing available. And I checked today and that's still the case. So this was, um, I received it on Tuesday, which was September 12th. Um, so I got the snake and then this didn't ship out until Friday, September 15th. And now this is Wednesday, September 20th. I ordered this September 5th. So it has been a full 15 days, but it has finally arrived. I contemplated whether or not to do this video because to spend $90 on a palette and to not be one of the first videos to go up ends up being not very um, effective. However, what I've noticed is a lot of people aren't purchasing the leopard palette. And it is a good, you know, probably a reason because there's five repeat shades. There's only one new shade, one blush. All the other shades are repeat. So what I'm finding is that a lot of people aren't purchasing this one. However, this is the one to light to medium skin tones. This is the one that I, when I saw, was the one that I gravitated towards the most. I absolutely love the packaging. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then when looking at the shades, um, I didn't have all the shades because some, one of the shades is in, I think it's the highlight, was in Butterfly. I didn't have that palette. One of the blushes was in Tiger. I didn't have that palette. And then one of the blushes is new. So there's at least three shades that I don't have. One of the repeat shades that I do have is the finishing powder, which is the finishing powder is, if you have any of these palettes, you probably have it. So that's fine. And I have that finishing powder from a palette from three years ago. And one of the blushes is also from three years ago from my sculpture palette. So I'm gonna do a comparison, but I did want to kind of share that. So that's the reason why I did decide to go ahead and do the review because one, I'm probably keeping this palette. And then two, I haven't really seen a lot of reviews. So I wanted to see kind of um, what my take is on whether or not I would recommend this palette and you know whether or not I wouldn't. Okay, so here is the palette and it says this palette includes five best-selling shades, one finishing powder, two blushes, and one bronzer, and one highlighter, along with one brand new shade of blush to diffuse, enhance, and add glow to the complexion. So these shades are, we have um, from left to right, we have dim light, which is the finishing powder. This is a natural beige this was in elephant and sculpture so i have this twice but again i am not upset about that because the the repeat shades for the finishing powders don't bother me then we have um celestial strobe light this is an ambient metallic strobe lighting powder this is essentially the highlight um this is considered a pale gold this was in the butterfly palette and the blush and glow palette that came in earlier this year i don't have either of those palettes so that's a new shade for me then you have mood exposure which is an existing blush shade and it is a soft plum this is in sculpture i do have sculpture but this is a shade that i'm curious to see if i have better performance to me the one in sculpture is always very pale so i'm curious to see if this one performs better or if it's the same then we have ambient strobe lighting blush which is iridescent rose a warm rose this is um in the tiger palette i did not have that palette so this is new to me 
This is the one new shade right here. This is the Ambient Lighting Blush. Um, it is the Ethereal Flush, a soft peach. And then finally, we have the Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Lustrous Bronze Light. Um, it is described as a bronze heat, and this is an elephant. So two of the um, shades are an elephant, um, the bronzer and the uh, finishing powder. So I am a little disappointed that the bronzer is the same one that was in elephant. I do like that bronzer. I like it a lot better than the one that was in sculpture. But, you know, it's going to be very similar to Elephant. So I think if you have Elephant, my initial reaction is, is that, you know, maybe you don't want to get this one. Maybe you want to get one of the other ones. However, right off the bat, what I like about this palette more than Elephant, one finishing powder instead of two. I like that. Um, three blushes. So one finishing powder, one highlighter, one bronzer, and three blushes. I think that is the best part about this palette. Same thing with Snake. Snake is the same way. Snake is obviously a little bit too deep for me, but it's the same way. I think that's the one thing about the Jellyfish is that it has two finishing powders and then only two blushes. So I think that that's, I think this is the way they need to go. This is how it needs to be from now on. One finishing powder, one highlighter, three blushes and a bronzer. To me, that's the perfect mix. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the swatching. So the first is going to be the finishing powder. This is the finishing powder in dim light. Next is the highlighter. This is Celestial Strobe Light, a pale gold. Then this is a blush, Mood Exposure, which is a soft plum. And this is the one, yeah, so I definitely, there was definitely nothing wrong with my sculpture one. It's just a very pale blush. It's not that I don't like it. It's just very pale. Moving on to the blushes, we have the Iridescent Rose, a warm rose. This was in Tiger. The one new shade is Ethereal Flush, which is a soft peach. And then the Lustrous Bronze Light Bronzer, Bronze Heat, that was in Elephant. So that is the leopard palette i do like um i do like the mixtures of the um blushes i think these are very close um it's a warm rose and a soft peach so i do think this one's a little cooler this one's a little warmer this one's a very pale um i do wish there was a little bit more differentiate between you know the blushes but i do think there's enough and i do think they're a little bit of a variety Okay, so now let's get into using the um, palette. Somebody asked me on the snake video that they really wanted me to do um, show the uh, using snake as an eyeshadow. So I did make a short. Um, I haven't edited it as I am recording this, but um, I will post it up here once it is um, up. And I just used, actually I used the whole palette as on my face as a whole. So just to show you how I used it for someone with a light to medium um, or a light medium skin tone, the using the snake palette um, as a whole. So that is, um, if it's not up yet, it will be soon, um, but I do really like it. I, I like it as an eyeshadow. It's really pretty. I love when it when it came out, but I'm not sure if it's enough to keep the palette. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to, I don't, I did not purpose, I purposely did not put eyeshadow on today because I did want to show how I a lot of times will use this on the go as um, like an, as an eyeshadow as well. So since I didn't, since I didn't do that in the first one or the first two videos, kind of wanted to do that. So I'm just using the bronzer shade as a transition and just kind of putting it all over the lid, just like that. You're gonna do it on both sides. Okay, so that is the bronzer on my eyes, and now I'm just gonna go in with the highlighter, which is the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Powder, and I'm just gonna put it on the inner corner, like so, and then highlight the brow bone, and then just smooth it out with my fingers here and that's it i could probably put some more color on there i'm not going to today i'm um, just going to go very very simple but you could probably use the blush as another color as well but that's um me using the uh bronzer and the highlighter uh, as eyeshadow 
Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the blush Mood Exposure. Um, this is the Soft Plum. This is the one that's very, very pale. I'm gonna go in with one of my Sigma brushes. This is this is the F10 like blush brush. I have three of them. So I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna go in one side and then I'm gonna take it off and then I'm going to compare the other two because I think the other two are similar enough that I wanna see how they compare on the cheeks. This one is definitely the most different. It's also the most pale. So, um, I like this one in the Sculpture palette, but I didn't love it. I, I think it's a beautiful blush, but it's also, it's just very pale. However, the both of those blushes in the Sculpture palette were always very pale, and I didn't really like that. This one, you have two very bright, vibrant brush, blushes, so there's a difference. So I like the fact that there's, you know, two vibrant blushes, a coral and a, and a warm rose. And then this one is like a soft plum. So it's going to give you some difference. But as you can see, this is a very, very pale, it's a pale, it's a very pale plum. So uh, I would have liked this palette more if it, I like this, pa this blush, it's just not my favorite. I don't really, when I go for blush, I like blush. However, this is a beautiful blush when you have a more bold eye look. So again, that's why I like that it is in the palette because you have two bolder blushes and then you have a nice pale one. So that is Mood Exposure. I'm gonna take this one off, but that is Mood Exposure. Really pretty, just pale, but you can build it up. Okay, so I am back. So now we're gonna go in with the blush that is the Iridescent Rose, the Warm Rose. This is an ambient strobe lighting blush. I believe this is one that has kind of like the sheen to it. Um, I am not an expert in the descriptions of all the different lighting powders and amp, all, I just, I, I'm not. So I, there's other people that are, that is not me. I pretty much get their powders once a year. I do have a lot of their other products. Um, I do love their foundation, their concealer. There's a lot of products, but um, you know, just the powders, I, I pretty much get them in the palette. So this is a really pretty um, warm rose. I like the shade a lot. Definitely more bolder, probably put a little bit more on, but it's more for camera, but I really like the way this looks. So I'm curious to see how different it's gonna look compared to the other one. And now next is the Ambient Lighting Blush. This is the only new shade in the Leopard palette. It is the Ethereal fl um, Flush and it is the Soft Peach. So I'm just making sure I don't touch any of the other powders. And that's the other thing I've talked about is that because of the pan size, you just gotta make sure. Now with the blushes, sometimes I mix them together and especially with the Mood Exposure, I will probably do that. Um, so this one is definitely very pigmented as well. Um, I'm curious to see though, once I get it on, how it will compare to the other one and if you'll see a difference. Okay, so here is the Soft Peach. This is the Warm Rose. Um, the difference is subtle. However, I do see the difference. So I could definitely see where, when I'm going to wear one versus the other and also could mix them together. So I wish, while I do wish they were a little bit different, I do wish there was more of a, you know, pronounced difference. I do see the differences. I do see where I would wear this um, blush if I was wearing a certain eyeshadow look and this blush with a, a different, you know, this one would be more for a pinky look. This would be more for a neutral, peachy, you know, brown eyeshadow look. So that's where I would do the difference. And then also obviously mix it in with the mood exposure also I think will be very pretty. So while I do wish they were a little more different, I'm not disappointed with them. Okay, next up is the bronzer and I'm going to use the bronzer as intended. Um, so I've used this bronzer before because obviously it is an elephant. So I do really like it and just going to put it on all over the face. Um, and it's a really pretty bronzer. It's not my favorite bronzer, but I like that it's in a palette and I like when they put the bronzer. Last year, the only palette that had a bronzer was elephant, which really, confused me. Um, so this year they all have uh, bronzers, which I do think makes a difference. Um, I did not like, and I, and Elephant was the only one, I think the first one to sell out, which I think was evident. So they, they learned their lesson, put bronzers in all of them. So that is the bronzer in Leopard. And now I'm just going to go back into that highlighter, um, the Celestial uh, Strobe Light, which is the pale gold. 
And this girl is pigmented. She is, ooh, she's pretty. She is pretty. And that was, um, so I already like, uh, I already like this one a lot more than sculpture. So sculpture, the highlighter was always very, um, was very subtle. And the, there was two, um, two finishing powders and two subtle blushes. So I already like this one a lot more than sculpture. Whether or not I like it more than Elephant is to be determined. Okay, and finally, I'm just gonna go in with the finishing powder and put it all over the face and um, just use it as intended. So I like the finishing powders. I don't think it's gonna be a big difference, but I do like their finishing powders. It does just really seal the look and make the the look mesh together so i do like using their finishing powders and the dim light is definitely a great one i like using when i'm a little tan i like using dim light under the eyes sometimes but it's one that i can definitely use all over the face as well okay so i am this is my completed look i'm going to put some mascara um, i actually have to go run an errand really quick and i'm going to come back and we'll do some swatch comparisons Okay, so I am back. I did a little mascara. It's been about an hour and a half since I was last here. Um, you know, life. But um, I have all the five palettes that I have. So I have all three from this year. Then I have um, Elephant and from 2022 and Sculpture from 2020. Um, again, I did not purchase any of the palettes in 2021. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of Leopard and Elephant because I think this is going to be the one that is the most similar that if you have elephant you may not want to get leopard so this is the one i'm going to do a side by side comparison and then we'll compare all the um, shades from the other palettes okay so this is dim light from elephant this is dim light from leopard and then this is soft light from elephant this is celestial strobe light from leopard and this is beaming strobe light from elephant from leopard this is mood exposure iridescent rose alethrial flush and then from elephant we have iridescent coral and radiant rose and i ran out of space over here so the bronzers are the same they are both lustrous bronze light so this is the one from leopard and this is the one from elephant so there you have it very very similar i think i love that these well i wish there was a third blush in elephant i love that these were one was a pink one was a coral um so I think these palettes are so similar that if you have Elephant, you may be the one that doesn't want to get Leopard. I think Elephant is so close to Leopard that you may not want to get Leopard. It, it's just very, very close. Okay, so let's do the same thing with Sculpture. Sculpture is the one from 2020. Um, that was the first palette I personally ever purchased and probably my most used just because it was my first one and I had it for two years before I got another one. But um, two of the shades are the same as well. So um, maybe if you have Sculpture and the powders are still good, maybe you don't wanna get a new one. So we'll go ahead. This is the Dim Light from Leopard. This is the Dim Light from Sculpture. And this is Diffuse Light from Sculptured. Celestial Strobe Light from Leopard. Glistening Strobe Light from Sculptured. This is the one that I always thought was just very subtle. Mood Exposure from Leopard. Mood Exposure from Sculptured. Iridescent Rose Leopard. Ethereal Flush Leopard. Vibrant Flush Sculpture. Lustrous Bronze Light Leopard. Natural Bronze Light Sculpture. So I think for this one, this one I think is enough of a difference. I also think the bronzer you can see is better. The highlighter is better. The blushes are brighter. So I do think that this overall, if you have sculpture but you don't have 
um, elephant from last year, then I do think it is a better overall palette. So that's where I would say, you know, I think it is a better one than Sculpture. Elephant, I think it's very similar. Well, I do prefer if I were to purchase, I mean, Elephant's not available anymore, but if I were to choose over one or the other, I would choose Leopard because there's three blushes. Um, however, if you have Elephant, it's very, very similar and it's not gonna be that much of a difference. Okay, so now just like I did in the other two videos, now I'm going to compare each of the um, uh, formulas. So I'm gonna first do all the finishing powders from the current three palettes, then the um, uh, blushes, then the bronzers, and then the highlighters. So I'm gonna go in that order. So we're gonna start with Jellyfish. Okay, so from Jellyfish, we have Diffuse Light, and then Ethereal Light. From Leopard, we have Dim Light. And then from Snake, we have Radiant Light. So you can definitely see it definitely goes lighter to darker. Okay, now moving on to the blushes. We have from Jellyfish, Rose Fusion, which is a cool mauve, Diffused Heat, which is a vibrant poppy, and Mood Exposure from Leopard, which is a um, pale plum. From Leopard, Iridescent Rose and Ethereal Flush. This is a warm rose, this is a soft peach. And then from Snake, we have Coral Haze, which is a pink coral, Mystic Flush, which is a mid-toned pink coral, and Sunbeam, which is a rich peach. So there you have it. Those are all the blushes from this year's palette. So I think the blushes, there is a big enough difference between the three palettes. Okay, so now let's compare the three bronzers. This is from Jellyfish. This is Lunar Bronze, which is a matte warm bronze. Leopard, Lustrous Bronze Light, a bronze heat. And from Snake, Solar Bronze, a rich bronze. And now from the highlighters, Opal Strobe Light from Jellyfish. Celestial Strobe Light from Leopard. And Infinite Strobe Light from Snake. Okay, so those are all my swatches of comparisons with the other palettes. Um, so here are my thoughts. I personally really like the Leopard. Yes, there are only five existing shades. I personally have three of them, so three of them are new to me. Um, one of them is a new shade, but the other, there's two that are completely new to me. And the other two that I have are um, at least one of the blushes is from three years ago and this one is when i did swatch them this one even though it's still a very pale blush it is still more prominent i did swatch it just kind of on my own as well and this one does have a better payoff i mean my sculpture is, is three years old so that is to be expected um the finishing powder is a repeat for both elephant and sculpture but again that's not to be, um, you know, unexpected. I do like it more than Sculpture and Elephant because of the setup. There's only one finishing powder and three blushes. I really do like that. I, I do wish there was a different um, bronzer than Elephant um, just because it was from last year. I, I just a different bronzer. Like, why would you put the same bronzer in the the mid-tone palette that is that's that's probably my biggest complaint however i would say is if you have elephant you probably don't need leopard for me i'm still going to keep it um i'm still going to get use out of it and when i reach for one i will probably reach for leopard just because it has three blushes um this one has two now when i travel i might take both of them um i liked that this one was like a coral and a pink i really liked that setup um they have kind of the same thing you have a, a rose and a peach um so you do have that and then you have the plum so i do like there's three blushes in here as well so but i think if you are trying to kind of talk yourself out of it and you have elephant you don't need leopard however if you have sculpture um even though two of the shades are the same then i think it's it could be worth it sculpture's three years old the powders are aren't probably as fresh it's technically expired even though they do last quite a long time and mine is still still very you know still works um i, I think it's different enough the, the the two of the blushes are are definitely more vibrant than the ones in sculpture um 
And if you had like butterfly or tiger, yes, the blush, two of the blushes, like one of the blushes in each are, are from in this one. I think it's different enough. But if you have tiger or um, butterfly from last year, you're probably not looking at leopard. So I think it's just personal preference, um, whether or not you want to spend the money. But if you're trying to talk yourself out of it and you have an elephant, you don't need it. Um, if you have sculpture, you don't need it. Um, you have two of the shades, but I do think it's better than sculpture. Um, of the three, which is my favorite, personally, the one that I will utilize the most will probably be Leopard um, because there's three blushes. However, um, Snake is too dark for me. Snake is too dark. It's gorgeous, um, but it's just, it's not one that I'm going to reach for. I can definitely make it work, but it's not one I'm going to reach for. However, um, the jellyfish is a surprising one that I'm I surprisingly really like and I'm probably going to keep I, I I had thought I was going to probably declutter that one I think I'm going to keep it um I like the two finishing powders they're very light um really great under the eyes and kind of like highlighting the face but not with a highlighter um I like the bronzer I like the two blushes I really like the highlighter so I think it's a beautiful palette I also did get it with the owl packaging I love the owl packaging it's gorgeous i love the leopard packaging it's gorgeous actually of all the packaging the owl is is by far my favorite second one is um the leopard i did see the snake it's actually prettier in person i never saw the jellyfish in person but um i do really like the owl is definitely my favorite they did sell out they came back in stock and i've heard it sold out again i don't know if it's coming back in stock i did post it on my community page when it did come back in stock so if it does again and i see it i will post it again but i love these palettes i think they're great um definitely don't get all three and again if you have elephant um maybe get jellyfish and not leopard but if you missed out on elephant last year i think leopard is an improvement on um elephant from last year so anyway that's kind of my thing in a nutshell i think they're gorgeous um, I just hope that next year, um, with like some of the shades that they, that I don't mind repeat shades, but repeat shades from two or three years ago, not the previous year. That's my only thing. Um, and the finishing powders, I really don't care about. That's, you know, but I do like the setup. Um, Hourglass, if you're watching, one finishing powder, one highlighter, one bronzer, three blushes. That's the perfect setup. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification anytime I post a new video. Bye everyone.